This video will demonstrate how to properly remove and reattach the liner in the RS-1002 ice rescue suit. Start by removing the ice suit from the carrying bag and laying it out on a flat and smooth surface. Be sure not to do this on any rough terrain that could damage the ice suit. Lay the ice suit face up and undo the front safety harness. Undo the Velcro flap, pull down the zipper and open the suit. Start by locating the two suspenders. At the bottom of each suspender strap, open the snap between the liner and the outer shell. Unclip the hook and move the first strap away from the liner. Do the same for the second strap. Each arm and leg of the suit has two loops and snaps connecting it to the liner. Open the leg of the suit and find the two snaps on the inside of the liner. The snaps sit on the inside of the leg at the top of the boot. Undo the snaps, remove the loop, and pull the leg out from the shell. Remove the loops carefully so as not to damage them. Repeat the process on the second leg. Next, reach into the arm and locate the two snaps at the cuff. Undo the two snaps, remove the loops, and pull out the liner. Do the same for the second arm. Start unhooking the snaps connecting the liner and shell. These are evenly spaced around the interior of the suit next to the zipper. Remember, pull on the snaps gently so as not to tear the liner or straps. Once all the snaps are undone, the liner is removed. If the liner needs to be dried, hand wash it with liquid detergent and hang to dry. Store the suit and liner in dry areas to prevent moisture buildup. Next, we will demonstrate how to reattach the liner to the shell of the ice rescue suit. Make sure that the liner and shell are completely dry before reattachment. Start by laying out the suit face up with the liner on top of the suit. First, put your arm in the leg of the liner and locate the first loop with your thumb. Turn the leg of the shell partially inside out to find the two snaps at the bottom of the boots. Feed the small strap through so that the loop sits between the two snaps. Click both sets of snaps together. Slide the liner into the leg of the shell, making sure it's not twisted. Repeat this step on the second leg. Once the liner has been inserted back into the legs of the suit, fasten the first two snaps at the base of the zipper. The lower part of the liner is now attached. Next, turn the arm of the shell partially inside out and locate the two snaps. Put your arm into the liner and feed the small strap through so that the loop sits between the two snaps. Click both sets of snaps together.
slide the liner into the arm of the shell, making sure it is not twisted. Repeat the step on the second arm. Locate the internal suspenders. Take the end piece of the first one and connect it to the hook. Then, start reconnecting the snaps near the zipper. The suspenders come out between the snaps. Next, locate and fasten the second suspender and reconnect the snaps along the side. Finally, connect all five snaps along the collar and shoulders of the suit. The liner is now attached. Make sure the suspenders are tucked inside the suit. Check each arm and leg to make sure the liner is secured and not twisted. Lie the ice suit face down, leaving the zipper open. Make sure the safety harness is reattached and under the arms of the suit. Roll the suit up like a sleeping bag, starting at the boots. Place the sleeves on top of each other, gather up the hood, and slide the suit into the bag. You've successfully reattached the liner to your ice suit. For more information, check out firstwatchgear.com to see more of our products and informational videos.